Hello, I'm Lorna Bennett and I'm going to tell you about some game-changing projects I've worked on as a mechanical engineer with the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult. The Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult are the UK's leading technology innovation and research centre for offshore renewable energy. We work with companies, universities and inventors to improve all areas of offshore wind, wave and tidal power generation. We work to make the industry safer, more efficient and cheaper to provide more clean, green, renewable energy to the world. The UK is leading the world in offshore renewable energy development with more offshore wind turbines installed than any other country. Scotland is also home to the European Marine Energy Centre in Orkney, the world's first floating wind farm in Aberdeenshire, the world's first tidal turbine arrays and the world's first wave energy machines. Many countries around the world look to the UK for solutions and answers to many questions relating to the mass installation of offshore wind farms and the best practice for operating and maintaining them. The renewable energy industry in Scotland and the UK has plans to grow substantially over the next 30 years to meet our global climate targets and help save the planet. And it's not just in the UK. The renewable energy industry is an incredibly exciting global opportunity to provide clean energy and combat climate change in almost every country around the world. The creativity and adaptability of ideas, solutions and technologies to the climate crisis is truly amazing and inspirational. Thinking of ways to change and adapt how we use old technologies from other industries in new, environmentally friendly ways, or thinking up new ideas and inventions altogether, the renewable energy industry is an exciting place to be. We have world leading research and testing facilities within Worry Catapult's National Renewable Energy Centre in Blythe. I love my job because of the wide variety of projects I get to work on and the people I get to meet. I have worked with scientists who have developed groundbreaking technologies to improve the efficiency of wind turbine bearing lubrication and cooling systems. Out of the box creative thinkers who have developed a robot that can crawl along the surface of a wind turbine blade 200 metres up in the sky to inspect for damage. Academic researchers looking for ways to improve the health and well-being of technicians travelling offshore to complete maintenance and repairs tasks. And incredibly smart people who have developed a new way to use radar technology, which was invented in 1886, to measure, track and predict wave patterns to assist with the planning of safe offshore operations. We work with big owner operators, some that you might have heard of, like Scottish Power, EDF, SSE maintenance contractors and vessel operators, lots of companies in the industry supply chain and new companies we work with to help enter the supply chain. Ori Catapult are currently working with the company GE Renewable Energy to test the world's biggest wind turbine. A single blade is over 107 metres long, which is about the length of a football pitch and is a serious logistical challenge for transportation and testing. We have an incredibly diverse workforce at ORE Catapult, both in terms of our people and their career paths. I have colleagues from all over the world, from Spain, Greece, the Netherlands and Russia, to Nigeria, India, Malaysia and South Korea. I'm a mechanical engineer now, but it was through my love of art and design and science at school that I discovered engineering and chose to complete a degree in product design engineering at the University of Glasgow and Glasgow School of Art. I have a colleague who completed a degree in marine biology because she wanted to work saving whales and dolphins. She's now working with technology innovators to build a sustainable clean energy revolution. Another colleague took a long time to discover her love of engineering after starting a degree in history because she was told she was no good at maths at school. She is now the expert electrical and electronics engineer in my team. We also have physicists, geographers, project managers, mathematicians, naval architects, data scientists, aeronautical engineers and so many more. But of course you don't have to go to university to be an engineer or work in the renewable energy industry. If I had known it was an option at the time, I might have chosen to do an apprenticeship as I always enjoyed practical, creative, hands-on projects. But there are lots of different routes and options to follow through apprenticeships, technician training, college, university, or even vocational on the job learning. Click the link to the college for more detailed information about different groups and opportunities.
And my name's Stephen McGregor and I'm the Head of Sector for Science, Technologies and Land Base at Dundee and Angus College. There's never been a more exciting time to think about a career within the low carbon and renewable sector. Did you know? The global sector is projected to be worth 1,500 billion in 2025 and that the UK is currently worth 50 billion and supports over 400,000 jobs. Scotland's energy sector is worth over 11 billion and supports over 46,000 jobs. 51% of electricity generated in Scotland was generated by renewable technologies compared to 20% in 2017 and that the vast majority of Scotland's renewable generation comes from wind. The equivalent of powering and heating approximately 1.8 million households in Scotland. You may also have heard about the Tay City Regional Deal worth 700 million and this will transform the Dundee and Angus economy creating an estimated 6,000 jobs in areas such as advanced manufacturing, engineering, energy and renewables, construction, life sciences and agritech. The energy and science sectors are two of the six growth sector industries identified within Scotland's economic strategy. The region has a really strong profile of businesses with low carbon and renewable sectors, such as SSE, Sea Green Offshore Wind Farm, Michelin Scotland Innovation Park, AF Offshore Decom UK Dundee, Coast Renewables, NNG Offshore and Catapult Offshore Renewable Energy. So why study at Dundee and Angus College? Dundee and Angus College is one of the highest performing colleges nationally and performs significantly above the national average in its recruitment, retention and attainment and progression of our learners, regardless of their background or entry level. The, science, the sector of science and technologies and land-based industries at Dundee and Angus College has a curriculum pathway that enables learners with a strong interest in these industries to find a suitable course from access to higher national level, which is the equivalent of first and second year degree, allowing our students to progress to either second or third year university through what's called direct entry. The sector also delivers foundation and modern apprenticeships for those who wish to study and gain their qualifications whilst working within the relevant sector. Our courses are designed in partnership with industries to ensure that our learners develop the skills, knowledge, capabilities and confidence to thrive in this ever-changing and exciting sector. You'll now hear from Steve Swinley, who is our Head of Curriculum and Quality for Engineering, about our engineering courses. Hi, my name is Steve Swinley. I'm the Head of Curriculum and Quality for Engineering at Dundee and Angus College. I want to tell you a little bit about the courses that we have on offer. All our courses have a current industry focus and through each one we develop transferable skills. Whether that's from mechanical, electrical, machining, fabrication or design. Our new Future Engineers course is the first step on your engineering pathway. Within this course it is an introduction to all aspects of engineering to give you that general engineering feel. Within this course we will arrange site visits, there will be work experience, you will have access to industry speakers to give you the most up-to-date knowledge of what industry is looking for. With the transferable skills part of, the, of all our courses, this allows you to be adaptable to any industry that's out there under the engineering umbrella, whether that be renewables with wind turbines, electric vehicles, hydrogen, all the new exciting emerging technologies that are coming to our area. From our future engineers courses, there is opportunities to go into modern apprenticeships or follow on through our progression routes, whether that's onto our level two engineering training and then on to our NCs, or like I said, employed as a modern apprentice, working in the industry and attending the college on a day release basis. My name is Kerry McVie and I am a Community Liaison Officer for EGF Renewables. At the moment I'm working on NNG Offshore Wind Development. NNG stands for Nerth Nagui, which is Gaelic for Strength of the Wind. And it's a large development going up in the Firth of Forth, which will be made up of 54 wind turbines and an area covering 105 kilometres squared. And you'll be able to see NNG once it goes up from many parts of the east coast of Scotland and it's about 15.5 kilometres off the coast of Fife. 
For those of you who live in Dundee and Angus, you might notice over the next few months and certainly a couple of years that your port is going to get a lot busier because the port of Dundee is where many of the turbine towers and the blades will be arriving before they're installed and checked and um, shipped out to sea. So the towers are going to be 90 meters in height and there will be 54 of those arriving. An example of the work that goes on before any of the turbines go up at sea is happening at the minute in the Firth of Forth. Now during the First and Second World War, a lot of unexploded ammunitions were dumped in the Firth of Forth and they're quite close to the boundaries of the wind farm development. So a specialist needs to go in with an ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle, and locate some of those um, unexploded ordinances and safely explode them and make sure that the seabed is safe for these turbines to go up. And not only do they check for unexploded ordinances, they also have to make sure that boulders are moved out of the way as well. And this requires specialist um, vessels, boats, to go out and locate them, the boulders and move them to somewhere that isn't going to interfere with the development. The renewable energy sector requires a huge range of people with a huge range of skills, backgrounds, experiences, qualifications to come on board and work. This can range from ecologists, people who look after the environment, engineers, business developers, people who look after the finances, people who project manage, communications professionals, the list is absolutely endless. Technicians and people can come in at different stages of the project. So although the turbines haven't started going up at sea, work on this project has been ongoing for years and years. My job title at NNG is Community Liaison Officer. I sit within the communications and HR team and I work with some of the communities along the east coast of Scotland and make sure that they're kept up to date on what's happening with the project. I help look after our sponsorship fund. If anyone's accessing the fund, then I'll liaise with them and keep in touch with them about how that's going. Um, I'll maybe do little bits of media work as well and uh, generally just be a point of contact for a lot of people um, along the east coast of Scotland. My journey into the renewable energy sector is a little bit unique in that I trained to be a PE teacher when I was at uni. I didn't go on to do my PE teaching, I did a master's degree um, and whilst I was doing that got very competitive at cycling and competed at Glasgow 2014. Um, I'm currently the Scottish champion, Scottish mountain bike champion in, in cycling and the wonderful thing about working within this industry for me is the flexibility that it gives you. Lots of people work full time for EDF Renewables, but there's lots of people too that do contract work, which is what I do. So I work, I can work anywhere between two to four days a week. And for me, it's very important that I have that job alongside my cycling as well. Um, and it's great for me to be able to work and develop my skills as I work at the same time. My first introduction into the renewable energy sector was working on an onshore wind development on the Isle of Lewis. And that job came about because of the media work that I had done within um, the Gaelic world. I grew up speaking Gaelic and in community liaison, you need to be able to engage with people and speak with people and explain well and clearly the type of work that's going on with, with wind farm developments. And it fitted quite well with some of the, the work that I'd done previously. And when I was first told about the job, I thought, I'm not sure, I don't know anything about wind turbines. I don't know anything about engineering, but as it turned out, it's a job role that you can learn very quickly about and it's so fast moving and ever evolving that it's exciting and it's great to see new developments and new types of renewable energy crop up and it's an industry that's just going to get busier and busier and better and better and who knows where we'll be deriving our renewable energy from in the next 5 to 10 to 15 years and you could be part of that. Right now we hear a lot about the global climate emergency in the media 
and renewable energy is one of the best tools in tackling this. It's an industry that is continuing to grow year on year with more wind farms appearing and more sources of renewable energy um, being invented, being thought up, uh, different types of job roles and if you enter this industry it's one that you can grow and flourish within uh, and you can really make your mark on helping to fight the global climate emergency that we're all facing just now. In 2017, nearly 18,000 people were employed within the renewable energy sector and that number has continued to grow since then and will continue to grow. Not only are wind farms a form of renewable energy, we have hydrogen, we have kite, we have tidal, we have solar, wave power, and who knows what people like yourselves might think up as a solution to fighting the, the global climate emergency. And that makes it a really exciting industry. And when you enter it, your job role is never set. There's always opportunities to pursue other strands of work. So if you're an engineer, you might want to move into communications, for instance. And I in communications may one day want to move into something like procurement or finance or, or, or another strand of renewable energies. But those opportunities are there and yeah, they'll continue to be there as we continue to find solutions to uh, the global climate emergency. The Scottish Energy Strategy was published in 2017 and it set out a target that by 2030, the equivalent of 50% of the energy for Scotland's heat, transport and electricity consumption would be supplied by renewable energies. Now this is a lofty target but it's definitely one that we can achieve and it also makes Scotland a fantastic place to work within the renewable energy sector as things ramp up and we aim to tick off that target. There are lots of different reasons why I would recommend uh, the renewable energy sector. Firstly, it's the variety of jobs that are available within the sector. Um, the pay is good. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to make a difference if you care about the planet and if you want to contribute to um, finding sources of renewable energy. Um, your colleagues are great. I really like being part of a team. I also love getting out and about in the community and seeing people. Um, no two days are the same for me and I'm able to combine my job as well with my cycling and with the full support of the team as well, which is fantastic. So you can make it flexible to yourself. There's always opportunities to, to learn and to grow and you're never stuck in one place and, and people like variety and people like opportunities to, to develop their skills and there's certainly plenty of that within the renewable energy sector. As I've already explained, there is no clear cut one route into the renewable, renewable energy sector. And uh, I think if you're going to give yourself the best opportunity and you're perhaps thinking about something to do with engineering or otherwise, uh, think about when it comes to second year and choosing your subjects to perhaps try and incorporate some of the STEM subjects into those choices. So that's your science, technology, engineering or mathematics. But there's no one route into the industry and there's so many different jobs that you could choose any subject and still have an opportunity to get involved in this incredible industry.